suitcase is packed, ready for my next adventure, off to another exotic destination. Maybe do a quick review. A lot of people have enjoyed my Ethiopian airline experience. Um, I will put the link in the end card if you are interested. And um, today we are tackling Turkish airline. Now, just a little bit on Turkish airline. I have flown, I think, between six and 700, 800,000 miles on them already. I've been flying with them for many years. And um, I must admit, I was a fanboy. I uh, had a fantastic experience with them. At, up until the, well, the you know what, <laughs> the last two years. Um, Everything went a little bit to hell. And of course, most airlines are struggling a little bit to get to the stage where they were. And just an example, um, I've been platinum with them for, for many years already. Uh, top of their status. And that should mean something. Um, that state is in as a platinum card holder. Well, not so good anymore. Um, getting your upgrades using your miles, you have to jump through hoops. Um, it's always um, a problem, even if you when you check in. So on this flight, um, I'm just going to do a quick review. Um, it's two flights. One I booked as business class just to get that experience for you guys and see what's on offer now on, well, it's a short flight from here to Istanbul. And uh, my next flight is going to be um, another short flight again. So a small aircraft. So the first flight will be on the A321 Neo, a new aircraft. And then uh, A33300, which is going to be a huge aircraft, even though it's going to be for a short to our flight. So that's me. I will see you at the airport. Um, we'll see what is on offer in the lounge here in Brussels. And um, then we will see what's um, on offer at the duty free shop in Istanbul. So going to be a little bit of a longer video. I will put some timestamps, uh, the experience in Brussels, the experience at the duty free shop in Brussels. I'll just take one or two photos. I do have a video that I made uh, about a couple of weeks ago with all the duty free whiskies. I'll put that also in the description and then I will do a quick review of the duty free shop in Istanbul. Going to be a little bit difficult. Um, it seems that a lot of the duty free stores don't like the idea of people making videos. So it might be a couple of sneaky um, Photos that I will take from all the whiskies, but only the special ones and maybe a special offer or two. And um, yeah, and that will be the video. And then I will also talk about the food and what's to offer to drink on both flights. So sit back, relax um, and enjoy my flight. Well, my two flights to my next destination or will be revealed later on. So see you at the airport. One hour later. Well, welcome to Brussels Airport. I must admit, <laughs> it was very fast. Thousands and thousands of people at the airport, all going to the Schengen countries. So, um, yeah, Terminal A is a little bit of a chaos. But um, going through Terminal B, which is international departures, um, 15 minutes from arriving at the airport to right through security, right through immigration. So good start, off to the lounge. See you in a bit.
five minutes later. statement or I'm just gonna leave it as that. So uh, only cost me well it cost me seventeen thousand five hundred miles a two hour flight which is a little bit expensive but uh, yeah at, uh, at least I got an opportunity to upgrade so this view is going to be two um, back to back business clothes one on a smaller aircraft and of course one on a big aircraft so uh, Let's see what they have to offer food-wise. I'm quite hungry and small breakfast here in the lounge. Um, wasn't too bad, um, but yeah, nothing to really uh, write home about. So, see you on the aircraft. One hour later.
one hour later. <laughs>